Hi guys and uh, welcome to another video. In today's video lesson, we're going to be looking at grade 10 maths algebra solving simultaneous equations part 2. And from our work schedule, as you can see, this is algebra part 3 and solving simultaneous linear equations with two unknowns is point number 3. So let's get straight into it. In the previous video, I looked at the question from the November 2018 paper 1 and we looked at the method uh, substitution and cancellation and we did uh, both types of uh, methods or both methods uh, with the same question and we got the same answer which is minus 3 and 9 and we said that with simultaneous equations remember that we just uh, finding the points of intersection algebraically so let's look at today's question the first question that we're going to be looking at is from the DBE November 2016 paper 1 and the reason that I chose this question is that it's a different type of question uh, as opposed to the one that we did in the previous video. For the reason, let's uh, let's read the question and then we can go through it. 4x squared minus y squared equals to 171. 2x minus y equals to 9. So the first question that we have here, it says calculate the value of 2x plus y. If you look carefully here, we got difference of two squares because we've got a perfect square minus a perfect square therefore in this question we have to factorize first 4x squared minus y squared equals to 171 therefore 2x minus y 2x plus y equals to 171 remember perfect square minus a perfect square can be factorized as follows the square root of 4x squared is equal to 2x and the square root of y squared is equal to y now solving for 2x plus y okay remember that we are given that 2x minus y is equal to 9 so it will be 9 times 2x plus y equals to 171 Therefore, 2x plus y is going to equal to 171 divided by 9. So if we look at what's 171 divided by 9, see I already had it here. 171 divided by 9 is equal to 19. So therefore, 2x plus y equals to 19. Now, let's look at the next question. 2.3.2 now we can solve simultaneously for x and for y remember 2x plus y is equal to 19 so 2.3.2 but 2x minus y as given in the question is equal to 9 so 2x minus y is equal to 9 so let's call that equation 1 and let's call this 2x plus y equal to 19 let's call it equation 2 2x plus y equals to 19 call it equation 2 so what do you notice you'll notice that both your variables y has a coefficient of the first one equation 1 got a coefficient of minus 1 and the second one has a coefficient of plus 1 so it will be easier for us to add these two equations if we add these two equations the y's will cancel off so I'll say equation 2 plus equation 1 2x plus 2x will be 4x minus y and plus y is equal to 0 that cancels off 9 plus 19 is 28 therefore x is going to be 28 divided by 4 which is going to be equals to 7 now in order for us to solve for y we can use any one of these equations that we have up here so we can substitute let's substitute in equation let's put in equation one so we can now substitute x equals to seven in equation one so we'll get two times seven minus y equals to nine what's that 14 minus y equals to nine therefore if i take y to the other side it'll be y equals to 14 minus 9. 14 minus 9 is equal to 5. So y, therefore, let's say y equals to 5. Okay, 
you can maybe try substituting it in equation two. It doesn't matter if you substitute in equation two, you're going to get the same answer. See if you substitute in equation two, two times, what's x seven? So that's going to be two times seven plus y equals to 19. 14 plus y equals to 19. Y would be 19 minus 14. 19 minus 14 is still going to give you five. Okay, so you have a choice. You can either substitute in equation one or equation two. So the intersection points, if you have to plot these two graphs, 2x minus y equals to 9 and 2x plus y equals to 19, they would intersect each other at x equals to 7 and y equals to 5. So that would be the point of intersection. Let's look at another question. This question appeared in the November 2019 paper 1. It says solve simultaneously for x and y if x into x plus, or x minus 3 I should say, plus y into 3 minus x equals to 0. Now in order for us to solve this particular question, we have to factorize this e uh, factorize here before we can solve this equation. But I got x minus 3 and then I got 3 minus x. Now one thing that we have to notice here is that we have to apply the change of sign rule. What is the change of sign rule? Now if I got y minus x and if I want to swap these two terms around, then I can do it as follows. If I introduce a minus sign here, before these two terms in the brackets, I can swap this around, it becomes x minus y. See, y minus x equals to, see if I take the minus in the brackets, it'll be minus x plus y, which is gonna be y minus x equals to y minus x. That's a change of sign rule. Let's apply it here. If I say x into x minus three, I change that plus sign there to minus, and then I can swap these two terms around, and that would be x minus three equals to zero. Now, what do you notice? Well, now I can remove x minus three as a common factor. So I've got x minus three into, well, let's not forget here that we've got y there, right? So there's the y there, just bring it down. So x minus three into, x minus y equals to zero right so don't forget that so now you can apply the zero factor law and you can just take each factor and equate it to zero x minus y equals to zero x equals to three or x equals to y if x equals to y that means that y is also going to equals to three okay so once again, remember that we applied the change of sign rule there. Okay, and we just do that step one more time. Let's do it down here. See, you got x into x minus three, and then you're gonna say minus y into x minus three equals to zero. Remember, if you change the sign here from positive to negative, you can swap these two terms around here. And then we removed x minus 3 as a common factor hcf x minus 3 into x minus y equals to 0 and then we just took both these factors we equated them to 0 and we solved there's our solutions x equals to 3 and y equals to 3. Learn as if you haven't subscribed already subscribe to jl maths like my facebook page justin lazarus mathematics you can watch all videos for free on my website, jlmats.com, and I'll catch you in the next video.